my name is Dr. Ruthie, professional sex educator over at exploringintimacy.com, but I'm here thanks to the great folks at funwars.com answering your questions about sex and relationships. You can send me your questions, and I really think that you should. You can tweet them to me at Dr. Ruthie, D-R-R-U-T-H-I-E, or you can email them over to Ask Dr. Ruthie, same spelling, at funwares.com. This one came through, in ma- uh, through email, and uh, we'll say this person's name is Laura. Laura says, hi, I was wondering if you could help me. Well, I sure hope that I can, Laura. My boyfriend and I have been going out for about a year, and now he's a very sexual person. We both are on the larger size, but I'm bigger than him. I weigh going on 300 pounds, um, and I'm not sure of his weight. Missionary is getting boring for him, and I tried being on top once, but it turned out to be a disaster. I guess I'm not strong enough to hold myself up, or maybe I did something wrong, but I was wondering if you had any tips to help me please my boyfriend so we won't break up over this. When we tried me on top the first time we were in his bed and he was laying on his back, do you think maybe we should try it in a chair or something? I love my boyfriend and I want to make him happy. I know I'm not because I can't be as sexual as he wants me to be. Please help. Thank you so much. Laura, thanks for this question. You are definitely um, not by yourself with this. This is the sort of, well, several questions, really, that I hear frequently. So I'm so glad that you wrote because I think other guys and gals will be wondering the same thing. The first thing I want to clear up is that you're never too fat to have sex. And uh, that's wonderful news for everyone in the United States, right? Um, but seriously, it's, you know, there's always positions that can work for you and there's always different ways to have sexual fun that can work for you. So, um, it may be that you are, um, not as flexible as the yoga type models in the, uh, in the books that you see. A few people are. Um, and it may be that certain places are hard to reach or hard to get to, depending on your size and, and your flexibility levels and your comfort levels and all that sorts of things. That just calls you to be an even more creative creative and fun-filled lover, which uh, is a real plus side to that, to be honest with you. So this means that um, we want to broaden our definition of sex to lots of possible positions that you can search through to find what is comfortable and pleasurable and functional for both of you, both of you, not just what your partner wants, but what both of you like. And make sure that you're including all the other types of sex that you enjoy and not forgetting about them, like manual sex, hand jobs for both of you, and oral sex, and sex with toys. So all of these things are sex and wonderful ways to have sex. And no matter what size you are, when you broaden your definition of what good sex can be by including all this really fun stuff in it, you have more sex and you have better sex because you can find the stuff that you really like and you can do it as often as you want to more comfortably. So let's go back to your question and break it down in a few different ones. Um, and I also want to mention you should go to my YouTube channel, um, either the Funware Store YouTube channel or mine, which is uh, exploring youtube.com slash exploring intimacy, all one word. And look for Comfy Sex Positions, Part 1 and Part 2. Um, I actually attempt, uh, while wearing horns nonetheless, I actually attempt um, line drawings and stick figures to show different comfortable sex positions for people who are less flexible, larger bodied, or have different kinds of considerations for um, positions, or just really like comfortable sex, and who doesn't? So there's a number of different ones for you there. I will mention a few here, but you can see all the like drawings and everything there as well. So before we even talk about positions, though, and, and we have addressed weight, so we've talked about that, um, I really want to say that I'm worried that he's going to break up with you because you couldn't have the sex that you wanted to have and that you can't, um, because he's more sexual than you um, and you're not as sexual as he wants you to be. So straight up, sex and sex not working is a reason that people break up, and, and that's okay. We make our own decisions, and, uh, it, you know, you could also be sick of him wanting more different sex than you want and, and make that call yourself, but really, 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 I want you to know that sexual pleasure and the task of exploring and finding good positions and good ways to have sex is a team effort. If there's two of you in the relationship, that means it's both of you working on this together. It is just as much his job to find sex that you love having with him as it is your job to find sex that he loves having with you and both of your jobs to work together to make sure that you're having an amount of sex that's pleasurable for both of you. And if somebody needs to supplement it with a little more sex on the side um, with themselves or however you want to work that out in your relationship, 
that's fine. Um, but it is a teamwork effort. It is not one person's job to fix the sex life. Both people work as a team to have a wonderful sex life together and address concerns as they may happen. If, um, if, if his fidelity to you or his dedication to the relationship is based on you solving your sex problems by yourself, let him go, baby. I know it's easy for me to say because I've never met him and I'm not in love with him like you are, but um, that's not how a relationship works. And if that is happening in your sex life, then that sort of dumping the fixing of the problems and making them your fault and making them your responsibility is probably happening in other areas of your life too. Stop and think about it for a little while. I'm sure you'll realize that it is. There's my soapbox on that, and I think it's very important, so I hope that you listened. Um, when it comes to positions, and um, we can look at doggy style, which is um, the receiving partner on their hands and knees and the, the giving partner. So in a, in a stereotypical heterosexual relationship, it's her on her hands and knees and him kneeling behind her or standing on the edge of the bed, as the case may be, penetrating her vaginally. I mean, you could be having anal if you wanted to, um, but it does work with vaginal sex just fine. And that can be a great position for larger bodies. Um, you can also try on your side with one knee tucked up. If you're going to be on top, thick thighs and big bellies get in, big hips get in the way, um, both his and yours. But um, sex on top, uh, um, it can be like a bouncy, thrusty time, but you can also think of like your belly dancing or grinding. So you can try different ways of doing that too. can even help if you're on the edge of the bed so one leg is on the floor while the other knee is kneeling. Um, you can try chairs if you want. I know lots of larger bodied folks who love sex on the couch where, again, if we're going to do the, the most obvious stereotypical, you know, heterosexual thing, he's sitting on the couch and, um, with his back against the back, just normal. And you're kneeling, facing him with your legs around him. Again, a little more grinding than bouncing, but you can hold on to the back of the couch. He can hold on to you. Somebody can slip a hand between to stimulate your clitoris while you're having sex. And you can really enjoy that face-to-face -face contact. So there's lots of good ways for y'all to be having sex. Um, now, it says here at the end of your email, you mentioned, I can't be as sexual as he wants me to be. That makes me wonder if there's more to this than sex positions. It could be that the sex isn't enjoyable for you, or you don't have as high of a sex drive, or you haven't found sex that gives you a lot of pleasure. Maybe you need a good lube. Don't hesitate to follow up with me with another email, because um, I want to hear what's up with that, and we may have other questions to answer along the way. I'm Dr. Ruthie. Laura, I hope that this helps you to have a better relationship with yourself um, and possibly with your partner if you decide to keep them around. And that it helps you, uh, this information helps you have better sex for years to come with people who really deserve to be having wonderful sex with you. Dr. Ruthie, and I'll see you at the next video.